Welcome to another vlog from the way we saw it today from Lipari, the Aeolian Islands, which are little tiny islands located in the north of Sicily. And in this little street, where the scooter is just driving by, in this little street is our guest house right behind me here. It's 40 euros a night, very expensive, but it's actually also not much more worse. And today we are a little bit unlucky with the weather. But that doesn't matter, we're gonna do a stroll through the little village and there is also a museum, archaeological museum and uh, some other things to see. So let's explore Lipari village. In the little village, just south of the border, there lived a peasant family Trouble winds started blowing up dust. Soon the man was called into duty and go he must. But he said, Lipari is uh, quite a smaller island compared, of course, when you come from Sicily. There are around 12,600 people are living here, and Lipari is the capital island, or has the, how you say that, the administrative, administrative center of all the seven islands. And there's Vulcano, Lipari, Panarea, Stromboli, Salina, Alicudi, Filicudi. Those are the seven. Aeolian Islands and we are now on top of the, of, of the hill where the archaeological site is and where the cathedral also is, the cathedral of San Bartolomeo and there's um, on, the, on the entrance door there's a sign of uh, San Bartolomeo and when you touch him that gives you good luck and he's actually the patron, patron of all uh, the islands. And here is an archaeological site. And there's an archaeological site. And Lipari is already dating back 4000 before Christ. And they had the Romans were here and there were many pirate attacks as well. There was one pirate, Barbarossa, he burned the whole city down and he took the whole woman population with him on board and left the men behind. I wonder what he did with all the, those women's yeah. women. And this museum is actually quite interesting if you're interested in archaeology. It shows the settlements 5,000 years before Christ on the islands and proves that they were trading, for example, with the Aegean cultures and they were using what they had, obsidian, for example, which is a lava that very, cools very quickly and becomes like a glass. And they also had sulfur, so they traded this with all the different cultures until they, the people here were uh, chased away by the continental Italian people because they were considered uh, pirates. So then middle and southern Italian populations re-inhabited the islands and that's why these islands actually now are populated by Italians. The Archaeological Museum on Lipari is a very impressive collection of artifacts dating from 4th millennium before Christ and it also ho houses the biggest collection of theatre masks in the world. The entrance is 6 euros per person. The museum is open from 9.30 to 6.30 every day, a part of Sunday when it closes at 1.30. We rented a scooter to explore the island and actually the tour just around the island is only 30 kilometers. So the scooter is 30 euros for a day 
and you probably need around two liters of gas so that you can actually forget. And the first stop is Caneto, which is a black uh, volcanic pebble stone beach. But first, let's have a coffee. <laughs> We are now in the Gelateria Papisca and every Gelateria has this deep freezer with all kinds of sins and Marty cannot decide really which one he's going to take. So have you decided? No, maybe a volcano. A volcano. Like, uh, wait, two minutes. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. So this is a tartuffo and it's ice cream with chanduya and sherry. Very good when driving. And coffee is really good here. And with the scooter rent, we got a very important accessoire. That's the first time we received something in, I don't know, 30 years renting scooters. <laughs> a hygiene net before putting the hay in it. You look amazing. Thank you. This is the white beach. This beach used to be covered by uh, pumice powder because just behind the beach there's a pumice mine that is not active anymore so the beach used to be covered of this white powder so that's why it's called the white beach but now the winter storms have washed it away but now it gives to the water a quite nice color because it's on the bottom of, bottom of the sea a whole year passed without a We are next to a church on a very high point on Lipari and you can see Alicudi and Filicudi and Salina that actually produces very good wine. They have a very sweet dessert wine called Malvasia. And then on the back you can see first uh, Panarea and behind Panarea you can see the volcano island of Stromboli that is still active and spitting smoke all the time. We are now at the panoramic viewpoint of Quattrocchio. Unfortunately it is panoramic but the sun is not shining today. We are really unlucky. Behind me is the beach of Valemuria which is a beautiful beach especially for sunset if there would be a sunset and behind uh, there is also the island of volcano and you can see maybe a little bit on the top that this volcano on the on the on the side of the crater that there are still a little bit smoke coming out this volcano has a little bit activity there are a lot of fumaroles where the hot steam is coming out and where you can see these sulfuric openings with around 400 degrees of temperature and it's a day trip from Lipari over to Volcano. There are shuttle boats which bring you over and then it's a trek about one hour to go up to the crater and look into the crater and at the hot sulfuric steam coming out. This was our day in Lipari, really super exciting driving around the island with the motorcycle and tomorrow we're gonna go to a much more hot island and do something we have never done before. See you there.